Hi everyone, it's Leonora. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. Welcome to the Hidden Occult Multidimensional Messages for my water signs. Welcome, 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 welcome. These are for my viewers who love these sci-fi ratings, all right? This is just a segment I do here and there, and I really dedicate this segment to um, you know, some of my viewers here that really enjoy these um these readings. Um, I appreciate your input and your energy exchange um, when it comes to these interesting readings. Um, if you want to take a look about, if you want to take a look on what this segment is about, I do have a little, you know, breakdown um, or any other information that you may want to know in the description box. So go right ahead and look um, at that information. But, um, you know, these messages can sometimes be very, um, 3D, so the energies could come, you know, um, from this earth, from this plane, but um, a lot of the times it doesn't. A lot of times it does come, you know, from other realms, dimensions, universes, so forth. All right. Um, so my air signs, my darling air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, or if you have very strong Mercury in your house, in your, I'm sorry, in your zodiac, in your horoscope, um, that could be Gemini, that could be Virgo, but Mercury, Uranus, um, very strong Mercury, Uranus, um, and um, uh, Libra. So seventh house placement, if you have strong Libra placement, seventh house placement, Venus placement, um, you know, you're welcome here as well. But it, it could be anyone, if you are joined to the message, um, to the segment, to the title, or whatever. If you're here just to, you know, just to listen, welcome. Um, all right, so let's get started, my darlings. I'm going to be using my Black Tarot, which is something that I use um, for this type of reading anyways, but I'm going to clarify it today with either the Akashic Tarot or my Karma cards, okay? Um, so, Let's get started. All right, please support the channel by liking and subscribing if you haven't done so already. I do have spiritual consultations and private readings. My email is in the description box. All right, let's start with that one. All right, I already shuffled these cards, so let's just begin. Okay. So I have the Nine of Cups and the Fools so far. Um, I have the Lovers, all right. So, so far, very strong um, Uranus. Anybody with 11th house placement, could be first house placement. Um, Aries, Aquarius. Gemini's here. Um, following the lovers, I have the nine of pentacles. So two nines. 99. Hmm. 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't, that just came out. <laughs> they just came out of my mouth. All right. At the bottom of the deck, two of pentacles. All right. <laughs> I don't know. All right, guys, so I don't know where that came from. All right, um, <clears throat> yeah, so Nine of Cups. I have the Fool, the Lovers. Interesting energy here with the Lovers. Um, what is this? Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, two of pentacles. Hmm. All right, let's get started. Hmm. I don't know. I just, this card, I don't know. It just moved a little bit. I don't know if if it was this maybe this this deck probably moved it it just moved and i, I saw it and it caught my attention i turned it around and i got faded meeting i don't know what that means um i do have the lovers here <laughs> okay 
All right, I don't know what that means so far, but it really caught my attention. So I'm just gonna leave it out. I'm just gonna leave it out. All right. Um. All right, so Nine of Cups, the Fool, the Lovers. The Lovers is standing out to me. It's like crazy. This is crazy. Um, nine of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. Resistance. I'm picking up strong resistance here. Um, and I don't know if people have resisted you. You know, or people, like, and when I say people have resisted you. So, you know, some of you are... You don't play by the rules either you don't play by the rules or you know you you behave a certain way that a lot of people don't right you don't do status quo you don't do the norm <laughs> right or you don't think that way um and i and i keep hearing resistance so resistance from your co-workers your family your friends your lovers your spouse but um very strong resistance here with the nine of pentacles and, and and seven of pentacles why because you came onto this earth earth for a reason okay a huge reason and that reason is not to be the norm not to be the status quo not to follow the same goddamn rules and regulations that everybody seems to be wanting to follow um big 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 energy coming out here with you guys you're like no yeah i don't believe you or you know you wanna you wanna um understand a situation or a person or you know a belief you know a little bit more than you know what they show you what you've learned um you know what you hear constantly you're like i, I need proof or i that this doesn't sound right I, why doesn't this sound right to me um or you have other methods um like unconventional ways with the full card here um of dealing with things people and situations or um researching studying you know like yeah i don't i don't i don't really just believe you know what people say just with no proof do you know what i mean like this is my crowd here you you don't just believe something that just that's written <laughs> you don't just believe something that is told to you you're like well i'm gonna get a second opinion or um i, I don't know it doesn't feel right to me um I'm, I'm gonna see what else is out there what other information is out there that may not be privy to the public um or to yourself so yeah this is my crowd here and because of that you're you, you've been res like you people have been going against you right energetically like they're like uh you know um because of, of of who you are and how you came onto this earth like you can't you were born this way okay you were born this way so there's nothing you could do um that's how that's how um you were made with the nine of pentacles and the seven of pentacles you know um enemies i'm also hearing enemies um so some of you may have enemies you know that are hidden some of you could have enemies that are open in the you know wide open and you're like yeah 99 problems but a bitch ain't one there you go that's why i channeled it <laughs> that's why i channeled it oh my god i love how that works <laughs> mm. all right let's start with the nine of cups So, interesting energy here with the Nine of Cups. Um, look how bright that is. Wow, that's crazy. Um, I don't know if you guys see sparks, like like flashes, like, like so fast. It, it's like, you don't know if somebody just took a picture, but even, it's not even that type of flash. It's a, faster than that. It's not a picture taking flash because that's pretty slow. That's not the energy I'm picking up. I'm picking up of like, Chip! and you're like, did I just see a flash <laughs> right next to me or behind me or whatever? <clears throat> what is that about? Um, it's like little spirits. They're little spirits. That's what they are. 
Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Um, paranormal, paranormal activity is what it is. Um, for some of you, it's not. For some of you, it could be both. For, for, so it's either paranormal activity going on with those flashes. For some of you, it's um, something else. It could be um, uh, uh, a shift. Uh, uh, yeah, a shift. Um, a shift in time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a shift in time. Um, God, I don't even know how to even begin to explain that. Um, but the, I'm going to try my best. So, a shift in time meaning... Um, maybe okay so for you you know like right now what day is it um i'm recording this july 8th yeah it's july 8th <laughs> sorry sometimes i don't know what time it is july 8th then um all of a sudden this burst of flash right i don't know where you're like oh, what was that um and then you're somewhere else. Okay. Now that could be somewhere else, like literally you're somewhere else. Same, same, same type. You're doing the same thing, right? So in my case, I'm reading cards, you know, I'm uploading videos and then choo, this flash comes doing the same thing reading cards, uploading video somewhere else, either in another timeline or in another location, another universe. Um, I know that sounds crazy way off and it may honestly really apply to one or two of you. <laughs> That's, I don't think it really applies to all of you for sure. Um, but for the rest of you, it's spirits, they're orbs, they're, 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 um, that flash is like, um, paranormal activity. Um, with the full card here, some of you may have a moon in a in, in Aquarius or a moon in Aries. Um, I feel that what is this? You're leaving your old ways behind, or you're leaving people that don't serve you behind. And you're like, yeah, I. this is my new way of thinking. Um, I don't need these type of energies or, you know, or, or I, I just don't need whatever they're, they're serving me, Leonore. <laughs> you know, it, and this could be a person. This could be you dealing with a, with a person one-on-one. -on -one. This could be at a, a large scale, right? Maybe the media. You're like, I'm not, I'm not trying to follow the norm right you're not trying to follow the status quo right i keep saying that for you guys you know like look at him he's like this yeah like on you know dancing to his own beat <laughs> thinking you know totally different from everyone else around him or her and then i see this skeletal dinosaur here right um i just feel like these are your enemies or if it's not your enemies, it could be old habits, old, old ways of thinking um, that you're leaving behind with the full card here. Now, the lovers, it, it's, it, you know, it's a pretty strong energy here um, when I first picked it up. You may be dealing with a Gemini. You may have that in your chart. Um, it doesn't have to be. I think that someone misses you here someone really thinks about you constantly like constantly so you're either with this person or not i don't know it's hard to tell it's hard to tell but you definitely have some type of connection with this person for some of you right maybe for a couple of you you haven't met this person yet but you've met them in a in your dreams or um in a vision right like I don't. I keep dreaming about this person, or I had a dream about this person, or I had a vision about an energy that felt loving. 
and beautiful, but I don't know anyone like that around me. Um, but for the rest of you, I think that you already know this person. Um, you know, I think that you've had your ups and downs with this person. You've had your struggles here with this love, the lover's card here um, with this person. So either you're with him or not. Um, I don't know. But the energy between you two is is insane. The chemistry between you two is crazy. Um, good, bad, and ugly, you know? And, um, and if you're not with this person right now, like maybe, you know, some of you may be separated. Some of you are not. But... I think that the person, either you or the person you're with or that you were with um, or that you will be with for a couple of you, um, is a type of person that will const you are going to be constantly in this person's mind. Constantly. They want to know what you're doing, who you're with, what are you doing, you know. Like they may ask you that, right? They may ask you like, so what are you doing now? What are you up to? Right. Um, it could be as innocent as that or it could be really probing, like, you know, like interrogating. Right. Like, you know, well, who is this person? Do I know them? <laughs> you know, uh, what do you two have in common? <laughs> you know, um, know that this person is so enamored with you and um, and they're curious about you. Right. Because, again, you're not a regular person. You're not one of those people that, again, follow rules and regulation and i'm not saying you guys are rule breakers maybe some of you are okay we do have some aquarius and gemini's up in here um <laughs> but for the rest of you i just think that you just need a little bit more information um i think that the, for the rest of you you just you know you're not going to believe something immediately it's it, 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 it it's it's an energy of the mind and of the throat um my crowd here at the bottom of the deck i see um the seven i'm sorry the two sorry the two of pentacles the two of pentacles um i see rebirth here i don't know i'm picking up strongly rebirth so two things one could be a a rebirth like a um literal rebirth of um not metaphorically but literal rebirth of a twins could be twins is what i'm saying here um I, I don't know why i'm picking up twins but i am um but it doesn't have to be it could just be one because it's like reminds me of a womb and then you know this is like a cell right or an egg which is and eggs do have cells but so um reincarnation right some of you may expect with a lover <laughs> um yeah this is a future energy so you're either expecting or um baby's coming out or the baby was just born this year um for some of you it's twins but it's a, a an energy of reincarnation, right? Um, I don't know why I have to say it like that, like rebirth. There has to be a reason why I said it like that. For, you know, I'm also picking up like, um, again, little rebirth, incarnation, reincarnation, where um, you might have lost someone recently. I don't know what recently is for you, right? Um, when you lose a loved one recently could feel like yesterday. Um, but you lost a loved one for sure. And this person is, is about to be reincarnated um, onto this earth again with the two of pentacles here. Um, whether you're carrying the baby or you are part of making this baby or it could be somewhere totally like somewhere else. Um... This person um, that's going to be reincarnated that you knew, this person that you knew, whether it was a loved one or, you know, maybe not. Maybe it wasn't a loved one. Maybe it was um, someone that you knew of, right, but meant something to you in some shape, form, or other. Um, the reincarnation of this person is um, 
is like I feel like you're gonna feel it. I don't know why. It's someone that means something to you, right? Whether you met them in person or not, but it's someone that meant something, somewhat something to you, right? It wasn't they were impact they were impactful in your life. And um this this person may be reincarnated to impact the world again or 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 just you know just for the first time it doesn't have to be again but for the first time um well you may feel the energy of this person could be even you know it's a person i was about to say it could be a pet it could be i don't know why i want to say pet but i i, I don't want to discount you know loved ones i don't want to discount pets as loved ones um Yeah, but I feel like you may feel the energy of, of this rebirth. The other thing that I'm picking up is metaphoric, metaphorically, right? The metaphoric rebirth um, of yourself, right? Of yourself. 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. <laughs> Take that as it resonates. All right. Um, let's, let's clarify a few things up in here. Okay. I, I need to clarify something here. Let's use the, the Akashic records, um, the Akashic tarot cards here. So, you know, the lovers came out pretty strongly here um, twice. Um, you know, I had said earlier, this card just moved on its own. <laughs> maybe it did, maybe it didn't. I don't know, but it felt like it did. Um, and when I turned it around, you know, it, it matched the lovers here. Faded meeting and the lovers. So let's, I want to clarify this energy uh, because I think the rest is uh, explanatory, you know. Um, maybe this burst of energy. I don't know. Maybe we could ex we could clarify this burst of energy here. Um, but the, these three energies go together. This this supernatural situation does not. Um, all right, so right now we're clarifying the um, the lovers. Look at that. The Akashic Library comes out. Interesting. If this is not faded, I don't know what is. The Akashic Library. So what is the Akashic Library? It's a universal library. <laughs> it's an, it's, you can't see it, right? But um, shamans... Priest, high, high priest, high priestesses, sages, gurus—they go into the akashic field, right? There is a, such a there is such a thing as an akashic field, um, or the ethers. Some people will say it's the ethers. Um, it's the same energy. It's an energy of the the knowledge of the universe. Okay, all right. You want to know why? You know, sage a sage knows what they know. A seer sees what they see. This is where they go to the Akashic Library. Um, interesting. That's that's interesting. What does that mean? Yeah. See, I feel like you you guys. I I don't know who I'm talking about, right? Because like for some of you, this could be a twin soul, twin soulmate. Could be karmic even. Could be a karmic soulmate. Sometimes karmic soulmates are not all bad. <laughs> you know, sometimes it works. The relationship works. You know, despite the ups and downs. Um let's see. Look at this. All these cards came out. Um Yeah. So whoever this person is. Um, you definitely were supposed to meet in this lifetime. That 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 is the faded meaning. That is what that that's all about, right? Whether you know who I'm talking about or have not yet met this person, that I feel like you would know. But I'll tell you the energy, the energy between you two. Again, like some of you already felt this person coming, either through a dream, through a vision. Now, whether you know this person or not, I I I don't know. Maybe. 
Did you just recently meet this person? Are you about to meet this person? Have you known this person for a long time? And you, you know, you're reconnecting with each other or want to reconnect with each other. Um, so that energy is different. But what I am picking up, um, someone may have a beard or long hair. Either a beard, long hair. Um, if it's a, a female, um, this female has very, is her self-esteem is way up there. High confident. People look at this person like an empress, like she's the empress. Um, or even the nine of pentacles energy. Um, right? Independent, a go-getter. Um, doesn't need approval from no motherfucking body. <laughs> I don't know why I gotta say it like that, but I do. Um, that's the energy. Um, some of you may hear knocks um, either on a window or um, door, um, but it's like a, um, what is that? That is um, something coming towards you, like an uh, um, so a visitor is what I'm seeing here. Um, so you know, or the phone may ring like one time, or you the the phone may go off like have this like little message, like notification. But when you look at your phone, you don't know where it came from because <laughs> there's no message there. Um, but you heard the notification. It's weird. It's something like that with the light of the world. Um, that's interesting. Um, maybe you 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 heard. Um, maybe you got the message, you know, about this lover through that way, right? If it wasn't through a vision, it wasn't through a dream, um, or a tarot card reader, <laughs> it it was through like some type of um, message. But you don't know where it came. Like the knock is like, where did that knock come from? Nobody's at the door. Nobody's at the window. Nobody's on the phone. Um, but you heard it. It's a visitor. Now this visitor could be the love, this lover. This visitor could also be um, a, a um, someone who passed. Right? We were talking about that earlier with the nine of cups paranormal activity um interesting i i also sense that it could be both <laughs> it could be this person's higher self this person's higher self knocking at your door sending you a message right and you're like well what, where did that not come from where did that message come from i don't see it i don't hear it um and it could be this person has the power to just send you. Maybe they were thinking about you and maybe they want to visit you. And you heard that phone for that quick second or you heard that knock for that quick second. Um, I think that the adventure between you and this person is going to be crazy. Um, whether you've already experienced it or you will continue to experience it or or about to experience it. I think the adventure between you two is beautiful. It's in it's 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 um <clears throat> you you want this energy is what I'm saying, right? You want this energy of adventure because some of you can you love adventures, you love the outdoors or or you like to explore in some shape, form or other, whether it's through books or explore nature or explore life, philosophies. There's an energy of exploration and adventure between you two. Um, and then I have the Queen of Scrolls. Yeah. Some of you are seers. <laughs> that is for sure. Some of you get downloads. Look how she's holding that scroll. And look how her third eye is kind of like beaming. Right, so you get messages, you write them down. So maybe a you know some type of scryer, um, mirror, mirror. You know, um, you know some people do divination work, and they use the mirror has a tool. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Um, 
could be a crystal ball. I don't know. Crystal ball could be through a crystal period or some type of stone, gem, um, you know, something that you're holding in your hand that may bring in messages um, and downloads. Um, I know that kind of was a little all over the place because I was trying to clarify the lovers in the faded meeting, but I think that it was clarified already. Um, these were just extra messages that may or may not have to do with the lovers, that may or may not have to do with the supernatural or super um, paranormal activity. Um, I wanted to clarify more about the paranormal activity. Um, and let's let's use this. I'm going to use the cards here. Um, actually, no. I'm going to use my karma cards. I'm gonna use my karma cards. Um, let's let's get a little, just a little bit into the the spark of light here. Um, I'm gonna use my karma cards because I do want to pick up the energy of what's going on around you. Uh, for those that resonated with that spark of light, <laughs> uh, interesting fame. I'm picking up fame. All right, okay. Um, so some of you may become famous, um, or some type of high following. Um, all right. Okay. I was going to, I wanted, what I wanted to do was go into the paranormal activity, but I'm getting, I'm getting, um, I would say one and a half message here. One of them is fame. So one of them is fame, right? So maybe the paranormal activities you're feeling are celebrities around you, right? That have passed, right? Could be. Could be, you know, family members or ancestors or um, just spirits around you, right? That are attracted to you because they know something you don't or you're on your way to fame, right? And then you get these little sparks like, you know, bright lights um, that's telling you, um, you know, it's, especially if this just resonated with you. Like if you feel like you are meant to be in the publishing company, film, media, um, journalism, um social media whatever it, you know I, I, that could be a confirmation the bright light that you're seeing sparking could be a confirmation of you being a star um you know or or an influencer and then i had the moon here so the moon is uh let's see what is this energy here let me clarify it with one more that's too much um I don't know why I feel like the moon has a lot to do with the faded meeting and the lovers. Um, to clarify the moon, I have Aries. Um, so, you know, this person that you're, that you're meeting or have met is either a Leo or an Aries, or they have strong Gemini, um, um, Aquarius energy. It doesn't have to be, but that's what I'm seeing here. Um, and the moon, I think that the, with the moon in, in, in Aries here is like you two are here to protect each other for sure. Um, both of you are here to protect each other. There is something really secure and safe about your person. Your person will protect you. You will protect your person um, with the moon in, in um, Aries. All right. So that's kind of what I'm saying for you guys. Um, my water signs. Uh, sorry, my ear signs, my ear signs. <laughs> I don't know why I said water. I don't know if I did say water in the beginning. I'm sure I didn't because I remember saying Gemini Libra Aquarius. But if I did, please forgive me. This is for my ear signs. Um, all right. Love you. Bye.